Hi, friends, golfers. Eric Stoller, EJS Golf Academy. Are you trying to feel like you get more rotation so maybe you look more like Rotary or Rory or anybody who's on tour who you feel like is more like this at impact? Okay. Is that what you're going for? I hear it all the time people want to get there. So let me dispel a rumor or a myth um, on this. So, first off, if I go up like this and boom, I'm not generating any power just by doing this, okay? Just by going boom with my hips like that. That's not power, okay? So people think, oh, I just gotta go that. What happens is I see when the people do this is they go up to the top and they go like this. Look where it throws my arms outside. So you got this huge over the top swing. So to look at Rory swing or anybody on tour and go, oh, that's the difference. That's why Rory hits it so long because his hips are clear out of the way really fast. Well, think about that. If that's the case, how come the women move their hips faster? They don't hit it farther, right? But their hips move at a faster rate than men's, okay? So it's a function of other things we're doing. So in order to clear my hips out, I'm getting here, I'm getting into my left side. And when I do, I'm pushing hard from toe to heel back. Look what that does, boom, gets us back. I never just go, oh, I'm just gonna spin. It's called spinning out. And look what it does, it throws everything out that way. Okay, so I wanted to spell that right away and get that out of your mind as an option for anything. It doesn't do anybody any good, ever. It never has, never will. Now let's talk about if we wanna become more of a rotary golfer, we feel like we're rotating through more, what has to happen? So typically what I see is this, is some people trying to do it, they get down here in the downswing, they're coming like this, trying to rotate their clubs like this. It's wide open, right? What's gonna happen? The body is gonna stop every time and go like this. So I'm gonna stand up, and I'm gonna be like, it looks like this. It's wide open, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna hit it, I'm gonna go like this. Why is that? Because look, I just hit it now in, online. So once again, our body's helping us out for what we're doing wrong, okay? Because what would happen if I'm like this, and I'm gonna rotate? Look where that thing's going a mile to the right <laughs> so it won't happen okay remember this our body i can't say this stronger reacts to this club face okay it reacts to this club face it may not the first time you may have to let it go into that but eventually it's going to react off of it so a couple of things i'm going to show you so i'm going to get you guys set up in a position where you can start working on this okay i have drills online you can look at um this is a more of kind of just uh now, I'm going to show you, but this is a little more encompassing of um, what we're talking about here of how to get more rotary. So in order to do that, first off, we, we have to have good posture. You can look up everything I'm going to talk about here. You can find um, online that I've already talked about, either on YouTube, which I'd probably go, and then because it's more explained than versus um, uh, like Instagram. So a lot of this I've learned through hack motion, which is the wrist sensor. So I've learned more about how we're influenced by what we're doing here, which is basically rotating the club face, right? So if I leave it open, I'm probably gonna still be in my lead wrist pretty extended, right? Or so what happens if I get more flat? Look at the look of that. So now it's probably matching my back angle more in it right here. And then, then I can rotate and look how it's square. But what if I come all open? You guys already know I won't do that. I'll stop and go like this. Okay, so what do we have to do? We have to get this club rotating on the way down. So when we get down to P6 about, that we're in better shape, okay? So I'm up here. I wanna show you the first move, it's so important. And I wanna give, um, this is something I've been thinking about a long time, okay? And how do we get it? Um, this club in a, a great position and then where to come down. Um, I've been calling it the eight o'clock drill for a long, long time, okay? Um, now I think um, I wanna give Monty Shinebloom some credit because what I've always done as I've told people is this is we go up to the top and I put them in the eight o'clock position, which is back here. So what happens, what do I do? So if I'm up here and it's okay, if I have a little cup in the wrist when I get to the top, but then I go like this. So what do I do when I make that move? I get rid of that cupping and I get this club back. If this is nine, okay, so we got, let's say, um, we got nine o'clock behind us, and if that's, um, that would be 12. Let's see, nine, sorry, that'd be six, six, seven, eight. So I want this club here pointing basically about eight. So look how far that is behind me, it looks like. But look what I did when I did that. I went like this. So I got the club up to here, and then I started down by going like this, getting this thing thrown behind me. But look what I did with my wrist, I flattened it out, right? 
So then from there, look what I get to do. I rotate, now I get it right here, basically my, behind my hands at P6, and I keep rotating. I have to from doing that. So I have to get this club in a position to allow me to rotate, and that's what every golfer is missing. They just think it's the body is just rotating. Well, that's forgetting that we react to this club face. So you're missing it 100% and you'll never get there. And those are the people who end up with that swing that's like this, way over the top and just death. Okay? Like you're never going to be able to hit the ball that great if you have your club out here when you're trying to hit the ball. It's just never going to work that well. Can you become somewhat proficient with it? I've seen some people um, able to score in the 70s with it. They're going to have a limit at some point. But um, So here, I throw the mass of it more behind me. I get this... Um, so people think it's like casting, okay? But on the way up, I'm getting radial deviation going. Now, on the way, this move up there, I'm dumping some of it, which couples nicely with this flex. Radial's up, ulnar's down. So I'm, look how that couples nicely with flex when I do that. So it's almost like here. Now I go here, that puts the mass behind me. Now I am turning my upper body, turn, turn, in lower, turn, 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 turn. Now look where it's at. It's a good spot. People are like, oh, man, it's way behind you. Well, it's going to be if you go like this. <laughs> but we don't. We just rotate. Turn, turn, turn. See that? Now you have a chance to turn when you get this thing in the correct place, okay? So to me, that is the understanding of it. If you have that understanding there, now you have a basis to build this rotational swing you want. Without that, what I just told you, you can't build it because you're trying to build it with some just spin out and that never works, okay? So how do we practice it? And you can find this drill separate if you want to just look at the drill separate on, um, on YouTube. But I go here, I'm gonna get it to eight o'clock by doing that move I talked about. And there's eight o'clock there. I come here, that's a checkpoint. Here's a checkpoint, here, checkpoint. Okay, and then eventually I want to start to go here and I want to learn to start hitting shots with it. How do you know you're doing it right? Well, when you do the video from the camera down the line, you're going to notice this is here, right behind the hands, here, and you're going to notice the hands exit left and this club head stays a little bit more out here instead of seeing something like this. That's what typically you'll probably see. You're going to see this handle going more left and the club head's still kind of out there. That's what you're going to notice, okay? So hit a lot of balls from the eight o'clock position. You don't have to hit hard. You see it here. You're just gonna feel yourself rotating through, okay? I'd say from just get from here to here. Hitting an impact bag will help you that feeling that we need to. Hold your finish when you hit the impact bag, it'll help you with this. Okay, thanks for watching folks. Let me know if you have any questions, leave a comment. I appreciate it and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.